The technological revolution has digitized many aspects of our lives, and now it seems our medications are next. The FDA has approved the first digital ingestion tracking system to help patients make sure they are taking their prescriptions. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook is here to tell us all about it. All right, so John, when I first heard about this story, I said, wait, what? Yeah. I mean, this is a sensor. How it's does this work exactly? Well, it's a tiny chip. It's like the size of a grain of sand. It's combined with the medicine which in this case is a, a medicine for psychiatric illness, uh, including schizophrenia. That combination of the chip and the medicine is put inside of a capsule. The person swallows it. When it hits the stomach, there's fluid there. And that fluid makes the whole contraption send a signal to a patch that's on the person's skin. That patch then sends a signal to the smartphone and says, take in the medicine. Okay, so I can already hear some of our viewers are going to be like, that sounds like Big Brother. What are right. the ethical concerns here? Right. Well, there, there are um, ethical concerns. I've been talking to my colleagues, to bioethicists, mm -hmm. to the company. Right. Uh, and the company itself ha knew that there were going to be ethical concerns. They hired a four-person ethical committee, to, that, and I spoke to one of the people on that, to, to talk about the issues. Of course, people are worried about privacy issues. Right. You know, you have all this data out there. Hackers. Uh, hackers, who's going to have access to it. When you think about it, Elaine, there's there's information in, in electronic medical records that are in hospitals and everywhere. This is this is going to be a problem everywhere. It's of concern, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a problem. You think about why it's being done in the first place, about 50% of people who take medicines don't take them the way they're supposed to. 50%? About 50%. And then that includes people who are taking psychiatric medicines, but also people with diabetes and high blood pressure. So there is a huge problem here, and they're trying to take technology to, to try to solve it. So psychiatric medications now, what about what's next? I mean, could this have other applications then, people with other kinds of illnesses? Yeah, I mean, you know, before we leave psych psychiatric things, yeah. you know, one of the concerns that people have are, you know, will the insurance companies pay for this? Are they going to say it's too expensive? Mm -hmm. uh, will they force somebody to pay for it? Will they say, well, if you have a psychiatric illness, if you take this medicine, then you're going to prevent, you're going to save us money by preventing hospitalization down the line. And that could go for other illnesses like diabetes and high blood pressure. And then, you know, really out there, but man, you, you never know what happens. You, could a judge require somebody to like a, wearing a tracking device, you know, to do this technology so that can make sure that the person taking that technology. I mean, you know, at the beginning, it sounds great. It's a yeah. technological tour de force, which it is. But with any new technology, you know, I mean, when you think about this, right? Right. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> right. <laughs> right? Right. So you right. think about, right. you know, at first it seems great, but then you have to really be thoughtful about it. Yeah. So the rules are, have not been written necessarily yet. They this. haven't been written. And, and not only that, but it hasn't even proven that it works. Yeah. So it's technologically working, mm -hmm. but does it improve compliance, which means does it make people take their medicines on time? And that's to be shown. Only about 500 people have taken it so far. The company, we spoke to them just recently, you know, this afternoon, mm -hmm. and they said, well, they're going to roll it out slowly, mm -hmm. and they're going to only to select people. It's very important to say that people don't have to do this. Mm -hmm. This is a decision between themselves and their doctor, and they can just take the, the patch off, or they can delete the app. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not something they're being forced to do. I'm thinking of, like, people who have have elderly parents, for instance, and there's a host of medications that they might have to take, and there's certain end dates for those medications. Oh, yeah. This seems like that could potentially be helpful, and maybe family members could help track a that. Absolutely. You know, right now there are things like pill boxes, there are other sure. technology, but anytime you're doing something, every single day the same thing or the or the same pill you know you can forget did i do that right. or not you know i i when when i shampoo sometimes i forget whether i shampooed <laughs> right, right? right and then right. standing there in the show right. did i shampoo and then right. you shampoo again and it lathers up real quick right. so okay i shampooed right so anything that you're doing over and over again uh you can forget did i just do it even if you just did it 10 minutes ago yeah it'll be really interesting to see how this technology progresses dr john lapook always great to have you thanks john thanks Elaine.